Welcome to another tutorial video. I'm going to talk about some RetroArch configuration in this video. First, let's look at how to delete cores. Press load call from the main menu. Press the call that you want to delete. It will go back to the main menu automatically and then you can press information. Then go to core information and scroll down to the bottom. You can delete core from there. How to disable the virtual gamepad on screen? To do so, you can go to settings, go to on screen display, and disable the display overlay in the on screen overlay. Whenever you make any changes in your configuration, remember to save your configuration in the configuration file from the main menu. When you are playing games with virtual art, you may encounter some time that you want to get the menu or you want to change the keys. To do so, first you have to go to the settings and go to input. You can go to port 1 binds to check the pre-configured key mappings. You can also change your key mapping configurations here. In order to go back to the menu, you have to make your settings in hotkey binds. There are two ways. You can either choose one of the manual toggle gamepad combo, or you can map your own keys. I tend to map save state and menu to one side of my digital stick, because all of the games I play don't require the digital stick. You can scroll all the way down to find the manual toggle. As I mentioned, remember to save the configurations when you have made any changes to your configurations. If not, you may lose them when you quit Virtual Arch. Once we are done with the configurations, let's look at how to apply them today. Let's load into this game and see. If you do not apply any changes to your configuration in date, basically you will not reflect any kind of configuration you did. So I can't bring up my menu or my save date with my digital sticks here. In order to apply your RetroArch configurations, you first have to go to system. You have to go to each system that you are using RetroArch to emulate. Go to more options and then scroll down. Go to manage system. You find RetroArch overlay at the bottom. Click it and then check the box for default overlay. And then click OK. Let's go to the game once again. Let's try our save state and menu that are mapped to my digital stick. And it worked. So that's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Bye!